Welcome to the 2019 Thielman's Athletic Club Youth Scholarship Bowling Tournament. We would like to thank WSCS TV for filming our championship stepladder finals and will be aired on Spectrum Cable Channel 990. Today's tournament is a two division, three person co ed team tournament using the Baker format. Winning scholarship money, but not bowling in the stepladder finals, will be the fifth place finishers in each division. Awarding these Scholarships will be Mike Cawson, who's the tournament chairman. All right, in Division One, taking fifth place is the Crosby Richter team. They each won $50 a bowler. And in Division Two, taking fifth place, the Leland Benninger team. Also winning $50 a bowler. Our first match today will have the fourth place finishers in each division bowling against the third place finishers in qualifying of each two divisions. Fourth place in Division One, Dalton Zeman, come on up, uh, Travis Tock, and Jolene Brucey. They will be bowling against Ryan Dreckison, Jasmine Colbart, and Blake Reiger. Fourth place. Fourth place in Division Two is Taylor Wykacek, Andrea Long, and Aaron Hall. Can you come up on that lane? They will be bowling against the third place finishers. Logan Van Sistein, Curry Hall, and Sarah Berman. The winners of these two matches will then bowl our second place finishers in each division. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2019 Thielman Athletic Club Bowling Tournament sponsored by the Thielman Athletic Club and Quick Trip. Today we're going to give away $7,000 in scholarship money, and we're going to get things underway right now as the kids get ready to bowl. Starting things off today, we have Aiden Long. He's bowling on Team Taylors for Long Haul. He starts off with a good shot. Curry Hall strikes on lane 16. They are from the Sussex, Wisconsin area. So, there are two different divisions bowling here. On lanes 13 and 14, we have Division 1, which is our higher division, higher seated kids. On Division 2, we'll be on 15 and 16. We have the top four teams from qualifying. Three versus four right now on each division. Winner will face Team 2 
are the second qualifying team in each division, and so on and so forth till we get to the championship match. Right now, we're in a one-game bracket play. When we get to the championship match, it'll be two games of bracket play. There's a unique qualifying format this year where the teams bowled each team in their division one time and got point for the win, one point for the win. So we based everything on a point total this year instead of total pinfall. Going on lane 16, Logan Van Sistine strikes up. Jolene Bruce covers the six pin on lane 13. Aaron Hall with the cover of the nine pin on lane 15. Score correction on lane 14 real quick. Let's pause in the action. Curry Hall to cover the spear on 16. Chops off the four pin. So the team on lane 16 is getting eight pins of handicap. The team on lane 13 getting 25 pins of handicap. Taylor Ryback. Wire, wire, wire rollback on lane 15 with the five pin. Ryan on lane 14 with his shot. Good follow through, good mark. Good result. Taylor covers her spare on 15. Sarah covers hers on 16. division, we're going to have one game roll off between each division to see who the grand champion would be. That'll be for an extra $150 in scholarship money. Strike for Logan Van Sistine on lane 16. Aaron's going to try and cover the 5-7 on lane 15. Jolene with a nice ball on lane 13. Aaron's giving it a run here. Jasmine and Curry with strikes respectively on 14 and 16. Aiden Long coming up on lane 15. Pretty tight match on lane 15 and 16. A pretty tight match on both lanes, actually. Aiden comes up a little light. My ball. Dalton strikes on 13. Sarah strikes on 16. Aiden covers his spare on 15. Ryan to cover the 10 pin. No problem. Got it. Then 16 and 16. Strikes up. Taylor goes a little high on 15. Leaves the 6-10. Travis Talk. Converts a strike on 13. Curry Hall and a strike on 16. Looks like this game is just about over here, so it looks like our number three seed will be moving on in Division 2.
36 possible on lane 14 for Team RJB. Lane 13 has an open in the eighth, which will make things a little tighter. They have a possible 242 with their handicap. The possible 267. So they still have a 31 pin lead. things up here in the first round step ladder. We'd like to thank our major sponsors, the Fuman Athletic Club. Then we'd also like to thank Quick Trip for their support in this year's Fuman Athletic Club tournament. in fourth place for this year's tournament. Warhawks will move on in Division Two and face Sussex One. High Rollers will also move on and face Juniors and that guy. Team RJB will finish this year in fourth place for the scholarship money. Again, we'll be right back after this with the Thielman Athletic Club 2019 tournament from Lakeshore Lanes. Elephants hiding in trees because they're really good at it. <laughs> yeah, I get it. All right, taking fourth place in Division One uh, is RJB. Come on up here, get your hundred dollars a piece. And taking fourth place in Division Two is tailored for the long haul. Come on up. Congratulations. Thank you. match we'll have the second place qualifying in division one bowling the winner of the previous match they are Harley Meske, Hunter Schrober and Matthew Steffen. And finishing second in qualifying in division two they will be bowling the winner of the previous match in Division Two. They are Andrew Young, Caden Tregler, and Jessica Ryan. All right, we'll be right back with the next match. Drop that baby. <laughs> Hi, ladies and 
and gentlemen, welcome back to the 2019 Thielman Athletic Club Bowling Tournament here at Lake Shore Lanes. We'd like to thank our major sponsors, the Thielman Athletic Club and Quick Trip. We have our next matches in Division One. High Rollers are going to be taking on Juniors and That Guy on lanes 13 and 14. On lanes 15 and 16, Warhawks will be taking on Sussex. And we will get things started right now. Good luck to both teams. Both teams on 15 and 16 are from the Sussex Heartland area. It's the Arrowhead School District. And both teams on 13 and 14 are from the Sheboygan area. Again, this is a one game stepladder match. Caden Traeger on lane 15 with a strike. Curry Hall is a 10 pin on 16. Going to cover that on lane 16 right now. Hangs on and gets it. And Jessica Ryan from Team. On lane 15 with the 4 9. Matthew Stefan opens up on lane 13. Ball just didn't have enough finish to carry that back corner pin. And Jessica looks probably just to try and get one here. Pretty good spare shooter. Wouldn't be surprised if she gives us a run. Covers the one. Harley Meske on lane 13. Gets the strike. Sarah Beerman covers the washout on 16. Jolene Bruce to cover her six pin. No problem. Andrew Young on lane 15. Got it in a little bit. Hunter on lane 13, gets his strike. Dalton Zeman on lane 14, gets his strike. You see the difference in handicap here. We have the Division I side, which is 13 and 14, Team High Rollers. Converts a strike on 13. Division two, there's only a two pin difference between these two teams. And that's good. That's a strike on lane 15. That is a strike. That counts. The rack did not interfere, so we're gonna need a score correction on lane 15. Jolene to cover her spare on lane 14, no problem. Logan Van Sistine on lane 16 getting ready to throw. A little, a little wide, coming back. Carries no problem. Hunter to cover his spare, gets one. 
Jessica converts her strike on lane 15. Dalton Zeman, 14. Asking the ball to push, it does. Carries that strike. Curry Hall up on lane 16. No problem. That team has started off a little slow in the first round and then poured it on at the end. And they seem to be doing the same thing here. And we get another messenger on lane 15. This one a little quicker. Hunter gets a strike on lane 13. We need another score correction on lane 15, so we'll get that taken care of here shortly. Travis gets a strike on lane 14. Travis is going to help me out again. Oh, they got it up the counter, good. Cover her spare on lane 16. No problem. Harley Meske up throwing on lane 13. Good follow for a good mark. Good carry. Jolene is throwing 14. It's the 5'8. It's a little weak in the pocket. She needs to be a little higher in the pocket to carry that out. Caden Traeger pulls it a little bit. It's over the top to leave the six pin. That's a good break. And 16 with the throw on 16. 10 pin. Jolene to cover her spare on lane 14. Got a hook a little. And does. Caden covers his spare on 15. Hunter gets a strike on 13. And Sistine covers his spare on 16. Dalton with the chuck on 14. Absolutely buried. Great shot, Dalton. Jessica Ryan also buried lane 15. Curry Hall on lane 16. A slow carry. Yep, six pin. He's a flat 10. Just came in behind the head pin. Just a bit. <laughs> Andrew Young with the. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't believe that carried. Travis goes four pin on lane 14. Pretty tight matches here. Team Sussex will move on to the championship match and face Team Hamble. That concludes our second round of matches. We'll be back with the championship match. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Do we have a gun? Why do you ask that, kiddo?
All right, taking third place in Division One, two hundred dollars a bowler is uh, juniors and that guy. And taking third place in Division Two are the Warhawks. All right, thank you. Nice bowling. to the championship match of each division. Finishing first and qualifying in Division One, they will be bowling the winner of the previous match. Melanie Hilbert, Austin Lockinger, and Gavin Suprin. Finishing first and qualifying in Division Two, they will be bowling the previous winner of the match. Hunter Adams, Matthew Sertich, Abigail Winkle. This is going to be a two game match, so after this first game they will switch lanes and bowl a second game. We'll be right back with that match. Because of you, I feel not alone in this world. And you let me know that it only takes one person to make you feel wanted. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Youth Scholarship Bowling Tournament put on by Thielman's Athletic Club, the 2019 tournament here at Lakeshore Lanes. We'd like to thank our sponsors, of course, the Thielman Athletic Club and Quick Trip are our major sponsors. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this championship match is two games total pinfall, two games total pinfall with handicap. Champions will then bowl each other in each division for an extra $150 in scholarship money after this match. So right now, let's get our championships underway in Division One and Division Two. Team High, High Roller is bowling against Team GMA in Division One. In Division Two, Team Sussex bowling Team Hambone in Division Two. We are good to go, let's bowl. off with a strike. Going on lane 14, Travis leaves a high four pin. Again, welcome back to Lakeshore Lanes, home of the 2019 Fieldman Athletic Club Bowling Tournament. It's been a good day. Saw a lot of good spare conversions. Kids had their heads high. Everybody qualified pretty well. It's a new format this year. Interesting format. Each team going head to head in their respective divisions with all the other teams. If you got the win, you got one point. We based everything on points. This year, not total pinfall. But then we get to bracket play, step ladder finals, and we're doing total pinfall for obvious reasons. Jolene Bruce on lane 14, comes up a little light. Matthew Search covers on 16. Austin Wishinger on lane 13 had a big split, took one. Caden Tregler with the error on 15. But he bounces back the next ball. Side is the washout. Melanie Hilbert on 13. Splashes the pocket, carries the 5 7. 
Dalton Zeman on lane 14 covers no problem. Hunter Adams on lane 16 covers no problem. Jessica Ryan with her attempt at the spare on 15 and gets it. It's a great tournament for the kids this year. Giving away $7,000 in scholarship money thanks to the Fuman Athletic Club and Quick Trip. Also a special shout out to Bill and Paula Hobart at Lakeshore Lanes for their continued support in the Fuman Athletic Club. Human Athletic Club is always looking for members, so if you want to become a member and help raise money for kids, scholarships, and other things that they do around the community, feel free to contact them. Miss yeah. Winkle gets a spare strike, oh, sorry, strike on lane 16. Austin Leuchinger on lane 13, flat 10. Caden Trailer on 15. A nice mixer, carries out the four pin. Jolene Bruce, trying to get over the top, get lucky, Dylan, and that's pretty lucky for that. We'll take the three pin. Hunter comes up a little high, leaving the four, six, seven. Austin goes in the ditch, blue dash in the direction on lane 13. Two off of 16. And it looks like he does that, no problem. Andrew Young throwing on 15, pulls it, doesn't like it. Watch it. Again, this is a two game total pinfall with handicap. Team High Rollers is getting 16 pins of handicap per game, a total of 32 pins against GMA. Team Sussex is going to give Hambone five pins. So Hambone's going to get a total of ten pins. The handicap, and they are on fire. They have the one open, everything else is strikes. Andrew takes two off the three in the washout. Melanie covers her spare on lane 13. Travis up the ball on lane 14. It's pretty good. A little flat, a little behind the head pin. Caden Trailer on 15. It's good onto the hand and gets a good finish. Gavin comes up a little high on lane 13. Miss Winkle covers the spare on 16. Jessica Ryan on lane 15 with a nice ball. Four nine, four falls, we leave the nine pin. Gavin takes a 10 off a 6-10 conversion, opens up. A little TV nerves going on here for these kids. Some of them have rolled on TV, like Melanie's rolled on TV nationally. Some of these other kids with a little less experience might be a little harder for them under the lights. Jessica covers her spare on lane 15. Austin on lane 13. Yes. Through well, no problem. Hunter to cover the 2-8 on 16. And he does that. Jolene is going to cover the 1-2. And she does that. Andrew Young on lane 15. Going to come up a little light.
gets the finish, the splash finish on 14. Caden Trakler goes up on lane 15. Might be a little slow. He holds pocket. Gets the carry. Throws such a beautiful ball, lean 13 strike, no problem. We need to finish strong here to keep things close to getting going into game two. He looks like a stone eight pin. That is the worst bad break in bowling. Do that good. All you can say is wow. Nate Trailer on 15. Carries a splash. Getting ready to throw on lane 13. Needs to keep it close. And does. So if he can finish up the fill ball with a strike here, that'll tighten things up a little bit. Lanes 15 and 16, Division 2 is going to be a pretty big lead. It's going to be about 50 pins, 52 pins to be exact. If Caden strikes here, so it's 54 pin lead going into game 2. Finish at 211. All right, so that's the first game of two here at the Thielman Athletic Club tournament. We'll be back right after this with game number two of the total pinfall matches here at Lakeshore Lanes. King. Go fish. In your face, in your face, in your it only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're going to get game two underway on the second game of the championship match here at Lakeshore Lanes. I'd like to thank our sponsors, the Thielman Athletic Club. Quick trip, stores, and of course, Paula and Bill Hilbert here at Lake Shore Lanes. Caden Tragler leads things off on lane 16 with a strike. Gavin comes up a bit high on lane 14. Travis and Hunter throwing at the same time. Hunter gets a strike. Travis leaves a messenger 10 pin. So, Team Hambone is facing Team Sussex in Division Two here on the right on 15 and 16. Team Sussex is down by 59 pins going into this game. Team GMA, which was our high qualifying team in Division One, is down by 29 pins going into this game. So they need to make up 29 pins. And starting with an open. Probably not the best way to start, but hopefully they can bounce back here and make things a little tighter. And Matthew Sertich trying to cover his six pin and does. Austin Weichinger on lane 14. Austin is from the Heartland Arrowhead District down in the Sussex area. He gets his strength. Jolene Bruce trying to get over the top and does, covers her strength. Jessica Ryan covers her spare. Abigail, 10 pin on lane 15. So I'll try to do some quick math for you here at the end for those of you at home watching. And we'll get you the winners of each division. And don't forget, we'll be back right after we get these division winners. And we will have a one game championship roll off between each division winner for an extra $150 in scholarship money. Abigail covers her spare while Melanie got up there and covered a strike. 
Gavin gets a little wide, comes back, no problem. So each team in Division I right now exchanging blows. Again, 29 pin lead for Team High Rollers against GMA. So Team GMA has got to make up 29 pins here. Could get a few back here with a strike. Andrew Young goes up a little light on lane 16. He leaves the 7 pin. Austin with a 4 pin. Hunter covers his spare on lane 15. Travis covers his spare on yeah, lane 13. Yeah, yeah. Seems pretty excited about that. Andrew Young covers his spare on lane 16. And Austin just gets his spare in lane 14. Doesn't want to hurt that four pin. Jolene Bruce on lane 13. Gets over the top and carries. Matthew gets his strike on lane 15. Jessica Ryan on 16, she gets her strike. I think the nerves are wearing off. Kids are up here piping balls right down the pocket, covering strikes right now. Looking good. Melanie Hilbert on lane 14. Nice high flush strike there, no problem. Abigail comes up on 15, leaves a soft 10. Dalton comes up a little light. It's a seven pin on lane 13. Big ball here for Gavin on lane 14. We really need to put some strikes together to make this ground. Ring 10 pin. Bad break on lane 16 for Caden Tregler, leaving the pocket 7-10. Abigail covers the 10 pin. So it looks like our division two is pretty much a runaway at this point. They had uh, 59 pins to make up and we're running out of frames. Caden gets one. Travis comes up on lane 13, goes high, leaves a split. That's something that Team GMA needs to take advantage of right now in order to close the gap. Austin does that, gets a little tight, but it held pocket. So Division 2 is pretty much done and over. Looks like Team Hambone's going to come away with the win. Travis gets two. Yeah. Things are going your way. Things are going your way. Matthew Surge gets a crossover strike on lane 15. That'll pretty much seal the deal. So Team Hambone is going to walk away with the win. Team Success will come in second place. Melanie Hobart on lane 14 in the foundation frame. Carries strike. That's huge. Again, that was only a 29 pin lead. So we have a possible 237 for Team GMA. And we have a possible 225 for Team High Rollers, which is 12 pins, which would be 17 pins short. So this is a big ball for Dalton. And he gets it. That's huge for Dalton. So Travis has a chance to come up here in the 10th frame. Travis has a chance to come up here in the, in the 10th frame. And shut out Team GMA. Pressure on him. Hopefully, get him. It's a little tight. Hold pocket. No. Week seven. So, right now at this point, it looks like Travis just really needs to stay clean. 
No big splits. A spare would probably do it. Washout. Convertible washout. So not terrible. It's makeable. So again, Team Hambone finishes up on lane 15. They are going to win the 2019 Fuman Athletic Club Tournament in Division 2. That'll do it. Travis seals the deal with the mark. Team High, Team High Rollers is going to take down the number one seed, GMA, for the 2019 Fieldman Athletic Club Tournament in Division One. Team GMA ends up losing the match by 20 pins. Congratulations to both teams. Congratulations to the Team High Rollers, Team Hambone for winning their divisions respectively. We'll be back right after this. We're gonna have a one game winner take all right after this. So, so we, we were walking, walking to school. I started thinking about lunch. Mom packed me turkey and cheese. She's I smart. Really cheese pizza. Sometimes her mind pizza. wanders. We should have a sleepover. I remember saying, Laura? I think I heard Laura. mom say something. The sign says don't walk. Sometimes it's so overwhelming. I really hope she doesn't I have really another bad day. I really hope I don't have another bad day at school, day. school today. When you can see learning and attention issues from their side, you can be on their side. Go to understood.org, a free online resource with support and tools to help your child thrive. All right, taking second place, winning $900, $300 each in Division I is GMA. And taking second place in Division II, also splitting $900, is Sussex number one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the 2019 Youth Scholarship Bowling Tournament here at Lakeshore Lanes, sponsored by the Thielman Athletic Club. We'd like to thank our major sponsors, Thielman Athletic Club, of course, and Quick Trip. We'd also like to thank Paula and Bill Hilbert of Lakeshore Lanes here in Sheboygan. This is a one-game winner-take-all champions of the champions, Division I versus Division II. Team Hambone is going to get 13 pins of handicap. A unique little format. We're going to have one team ball on lane 14 and one team ball on lane 15 due to TV camera angles. So here we go. We're ready to go. 13 pins of extra handicap for Team Hambone. Extra $150 in scholarship money for each, for the team that wins. $50 each kid, each board. So Travis comes up on lane 14. Good release, good mark, good finish, good result. Hunter Adams on lane 15. With a good release, solid nine pin. Both teams pull out of the same center here at Lakeshore Lane, so they're giving each other a little, a little ribbing during the break. Jolene pulls it, leaves the 1-3, very makeable spare. Hunter has no problem covering his 9-pin. Matthew Surtich coming up, the son of Pat Surtich. I think Matthew could probably give Pat a run for his money at this point right now. Jolene pulls it a little bit, opens up in uh, her frame. Yeah, 
Matthew yanked on that one a little bit at the bottom. Comes over the top. Makeable spare. Dalton breaks up the split, coming in a little bit high. Hats off to all the Fieldman Athletic Club members that were here today to help make this event possible. Matthew opens up in his frame. Dalton covers his spare. Abigail Winkle now bowling on lane 15. Wastes no time. Good release. A little high. Leaves a 4 7. Good day today, good turnout. We had 22 teams, 24 would have filled it. Certainly want to fill this tournament next year. It's a good tournament, scholarship money for the kids. These kids are gonna go home with a lot of scholarship money in the top four teams. Abigail misses her spare and moves the four. Strikes here is 46. We have a three pin lead, so the handicap camp is pretty much all but gone now. Three pin lead for Team Hamble. Hunter comes up high, brings up the split. Jolene's getting ready to throw here on lane 14. Taking a little ribbing from Dalton and Matthew. Kids sporting the Lakeshore Lanes logo infusion jerseys. Jolene coming up to cover her spare on lane 14. Hold it, takes one out of the three. Get that handicap back. Nope, comes up a little high, a little slow on that one. Grab that at the bottom. Dalton rips through it and holds. Trips out to 4 9. Matthew up on lane 15 to cover his spare. Two off of the floor. So right now at this point we're a frame behind. We have a one pin lead. A one pin lead for Team Hamble. If Abigail strikes here. Four seven. So that's gonna put us in a virtual time at the moment. Oh, 
that uh, was what we call the snowplow. Abigail puts one in the pocket, flat 10. ring 10. So this leaves it open for Hunter. If Hunter can double here. Big ball for Hunter. Yes! It's a big, big spare right here for Travis. He needs this to force Hunter to strike on the next ball. And he gets it. So, possible 182 with handicap on lane 15, and a possible 180. Need this strike. Got it! That was huge. Huge ball. Hunter needs nine pins. Nine pins for the win. And Travis has given Hunter a hard time. Nine pins. These two teams we were talking earlier, they said they wanted to tie because they didn't want to beat each other. Nine pins for the win. In there. Oh! Yeah, we could have a tie. We get a strike here from Travis. We could have a tie. This is it right here for the tie. There it is! It's a tie. That's it. That's all we got from the 2019 Thielman Athletic Club Tournament here at Lakeshore Lanes. We'd like to thank our sponsors, the Thielman Athletic Club and Quick Trip. They did talk about this before we started bowling, that they wanted to tie. So we'll be back right after this with a decision on what we're going to do. We'll be back. Meals on Wheels gives me a chance to be totally selfless. More than the food itself, a lot of seniors don't have family. So just to have someone to talk to, just to say, hey, how was your day? That means so much more than a meal could ever mean. We have to look outside of ourselves to be that lifeline to other people. It's worth it. All right, welcome back to the 2019 Thielman Athletic Club Bowling Tournament here at Lakeshore Lanes. These guys wanted to tie, they tied. Now we're doing an eighth and ninth and 10 frame roll off. Don't tie. You will, all right. You guys get four pins of handicap for eighth, ninth, and 10th. You guys are blowing scratch. Good luck. So Jolene's gonna go first. On lane 14. pressure on the other team. Again, this is for an extra $150 in scholarship money. Got a chance. Oh, yeah. Out of the back. Oh, Matthew gets in wide. Who's the 
Okay, it's all both in the same league, so they're all giving each other a hard time. Dalton hears it. Ten in the back. It's a big spare here for Ben. Needs to cover this. Covers this. He's putting some more pressure on Travis. Hunter coming up on lane 5th, so you'll possibly 62 for Hunter on lane 15. Possibly 62 if he strikes out. And with a possible 70, 80 on lane 14. Possible 80 on lane 14. Hunter came up big earlier, put some pressure on Travis. Travis needs this one, gets it wide. Carries. Lucky to get the 10 pin out of there. That's going to seal the deal. Team High, Team High Rollers is going to come away with an extra $150 in scholarship money here at the 2019 Dillman Athletic Club Tournament. Hunter will finish out his 10th frame. Good ball, good approach, good throw. Soft 10 pin. Great day by everybody. Good bowling by all the kids here at Lakeshore Lanes up in Sheboygan. We'll be back right after this with the awards presentation for the first place and the champion of champions. Hey guys, how are you today? Good. I'm here to talk about how with technology you can make amazing worlds. Come with me. My team and I bring the Halo world to life. Is that you? That is me. I wasn't a math genius, and I knew nothing about coding. But you guys do. You guys have the power to change things. I want your job. I want you to have my job. I'd like to congratulate our Division II champs. Uh, they are Hambone. Come on up, $500 each. And our overall champion from division number one, each winning $550, High Rollers. today for those two groups, $3,150. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Bonnie, thank you for helping out again. Gary Gasper, you're the man. Thank you very much for everything you do for the kids. That's awesome.